Welcome to Newsworthy Stories with Jacqueline Jimenez. As you can see, I have Alicia Botang with me with Alicia Botang Designs. Alicia, thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you for having me. I tell you, if you haven't met her, I actually met her through her work first. You know how I am about showing your work. But her work kept coming up on my feeds, my social media feeds. I was like, wow, these are amazing. And then I saw an article where I was like, wow, she's from South Florida. And I go, well, that's where I am. So I was like so excited to learn. In fact, I that day, I went ahead and found you on LinkedIn so I could connect with you. But then now we're connected. So I'm so excited to talk with you and learn. Thank tell you. Can you tell these fine people what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them a little peep. <laughs> oh, please hold that up higher. That is amazing. So this amazing. is... Uh, her name is Esperanza. Every year I have a girl of the year. And this is this year's girl of the year. Her name is Esperanza, which means hope in Spanish. And it's also my great grandmother's name. And, um, you know, I always, I've, all my cups that I've done throughout the years, um, the limited edition ones, they always have a meaning, right? And so last year was grace because I felt that we needed to, tackle 2023 with much grace and this year is hope because hope is one of the things you should never lose mm. and so i i thought she's beautiful she's she's dazzling she's definitely going to make your your morning so why not name her hope and that's why her name is hope <laughs> you know i that is what caught my attention you know i'm sitting there i'm looking at the feed and i and i see this cup and i'm and i think it was maya angelou uh, yes. that you had done. And we'll show some of those pictures uh, in just a second. Um, but that's what caught my attention. I thought, golly, I said, this is amazing. It was so smart. Um, and then, but you know what also, cause I, I'm also, um, I have my own line of uh, greeting cards mm -hmm. and I, and it's handmade as well. And I go, the first thing that caught my attention was, wow, that's a lot of work. Uh, the is. detail. <laughs> and, you know, and I was like, wow, that's a lot of work. And I was like, but so creative. What led you to do that in the first place? Well, behind a good product is always a good story, right? <laughs> yes. So I have to uh, thank my uh, obsession with coffee. Ooh. I have been obsessed with the same coffee brand for, six, for 32 years. And that is really what made me um, focus on the coffee cups. You know, I was a wedding and event planner for over 20 years. I've been wow. in the uh, hospitality industry for a long time. And when I met my husband in 2014, he's like, okay, that, that those are way too many long hours. We are not doing this. <laughs> so thankfully I had to, you know, shift and, and pivot um, in my career, which I was very glad to do so because after over 20 years of, of, you know, doing such laborious work, it was definitely time for a change. So um, we went into real estate. So 2014, we met, we got married, we went into real estate. And then in 2019, he, for my birthday, bought me a Cricut machine. So if you don't know what a Cricut machine is, it cuts vinyl. And I wanted to put vinyl on everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you move, you have vinyl. If you breathe, you have vinyl. <laughs> and so, um, of course, I started creating all these beautiful decorations and so forth. 2019, uh, later on in the year, we decided we we're going to open up a pop-up shop at our local mall. And so I had spent all these weeks and months prepping all these gorgeous holiday decorations and so forth. However, two weeks before we were going to open up the pop-up shop, you know, we had already made the announcement. Okay. Two weeks before, I decided, you know what? I'm having coffee with my husband. And I said, if my coffee cup was as enriching as my coffee, mm. because I, I got him to like my coffee too. <laughs> Absolutely, you know. That's how I am with creamer. I got, yeah, I, I, I <laughs> have creamer. It's so sad. <laughs> Um, so I, I made that statement to him and then immediately I grabbed the first sheet of paper that I found and I started writing down how I wanted my coffee cup to make me feel, mm. which you don't really, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily take the time to think that way. However, again, my obsession with coffee <laughs> takes it to the next level. 
So I write it. I wrote down how I wanted my coffee cup to make me feel. I had some, you know, little stones and just like a, a coffee cup from the dollar store that I had purchased. And I started decorating it mm. according to how I wanted to make me feel. And I posted it on social media. And then two weeks later, we open up the shop. So for the first two and a half weeks of opening up the shop, I had anywhere from five to seven people coming on a daily basis asking me about the cup. And so as in branding, as you know, they tell you what they want, right? It's not what you want. It's what they want. Mm -hmm. And so after almost three weeks of, of having people coming to me, asking me for the cups, I realized, okay, I need to sell all these decorations that I just spent all these months doing, <laughs> finish that and focus on the cups. And that has brought us to where we are today. Well, as you can see, here are some of the cups uh, that she has created. And there is that Esperanza yes. cup, as you mentioned. Um, and even the one that um, I mentioned to you, which was, uh, she's kind of holding it here. Oh, yes. But the Maya, Maya and yes, and so I see you have so many different uh, inspirers. I do. Uh, I have different collections. Um, Shirley Chisholm is part of the Black Excellence Collection, and that is a limited collection that honors African American women of history mm -hmm. every year. So every year it comes. I, I come up with a new cup. Um, I inaugurated that collection with Madam C J Walker because mm. I can relate so much to her. I would definitely be on my deathbed ask, asking my husband, what cup are we going to make next? <laughs> Just you know, like she was so preoccupied with what shampoo she was going to make next and so forth. I, well, yeah, I, you know, I saw a um, documentary on her mm -hmm. and yes. uh, it was incredible. I was very glad uh, to actually learn about her life a little bit. I'm going to keep scrolling. This is, I'm, I'm, we're live right here on her website. So I'm just scrolling down. You've got newspaper <laughs> here. Uh, you know, uh, just, I, I just love them. And as mm -hmm. you said, because when you wake up in the morning, I think that's you on, um, I was going to ask you about that, but you can tell me that minute. There's, yeah. there you go. Some so of these I, we started, I started with Madam CJ Walker. And then the following year, 2022, was Maya Angelou. Mm -hmm. I I can certainly relate, you know, all these women that I'm highlighting, especially within the Black Excellence Collection, um, have definitely resonated with me at one point in my life. Um, Maya Angelou, I, I, I consider her to be like the grandmother that I never really knew, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> just because of her wisdom. And so definitely, Maya Angelou has definitely been one of my most popular cups um to to the extent where Whoopi Goldberg actually has a cup um and so again I that that's definitely one of the cups that I keep bringing back because she's very very beloved yeah uh, 2023 I did the uh Harriet Tubman yes I see and that. my reasoning behind that was resilience she it, it, resilience and perseverance she never gave up she had a goal, she had a dream, and she wanted to make sure that she fulfilled it. Um, and then, so this year, I have Shirley Chisholm, which is very appropriate because it's an election year. And I figured, of course, we're going to empower women. And um, so that is why I chose Shirley Chisholm this year. Uh, I tell you, I mean, you can go, scroll through and... You know, take a look, go to her website. There's a honey bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is very much part uh, co-founder of my company. Uh -huh. He is uh, my negotiator behind the scenes. I'm more of the creative mind. He's definitely the negotiator and the uh, analyst <laughs> of the company. <laughs> Keeps it keeps it level. Oh keeps, yes, he reminds me to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> don't make you know three hundred designs in one year, you know, exactly. which uh, or or don't at least don't share them all. <laughs> exactly, we can't exactly. keep up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I I love that. Um, like I said, these designs they kept popping up in my feed. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And um, oh, they're so beautiful. Um, oh, I thought I had another one. Another. Um, oh, maybe that's what I, I think I had click view all. I think originally. Uh, so you could really scroll down and, uh, you know, just see more. There's so many more on mm-hmm. here. If you go to the top where it says shop all, uh-huh. that, that gives you a, a drop down and that gives you all of the collections that I have. The original is the Afro Glam collection. That's how it started. Um, and then I incorporated uh, different other collections. It's so fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you could do this all day. Not, not <laughs> I ask you. you know, I'm over here and I'm I'm scrolling along and looking and, mm-hmm. you know, just to give you an idea, uh, just to tease you a little bit. But I see this young lady's praying and I know that's a big part of your, yes, <laughs> your absolutely. background. Yes. God is a huge part of, of my life, of our foundation, of our family foundation. Um, You know, when I was younger, I always I had a friend of mine that was very devoted to God at a very young age. And I always questioned that. And I said, why does she love God so much? Why can't I find that love and that peace and that tranquility that when she speaks about him? And it wasn't until much later in my life where, um, you know, I met my husband and we started going to church as a family. And, you know, I was born and raised Catholic. However, uh, with all due respect, I did find that the Catholic masses that I went to were not as as fueling as I needed them to be, right? And so we started going to different churches just to see which one we felt the most comfortable with. And we came across Calvary um, Christian, and we just felt at home. And I, and I will tell you that for the first year that we went, it was like the Holy Spirit was cleansing me. I was, I would cry the minute I would get off the car to the minute I would get back into the car. And I couldn't explain it. My husband's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I don't know if it's like overjoyed that I'm here. I don't know if, it, if this is God, you know, his way of welcoming me and, to, and, and reassuring me that this is where I belong. Um, And once I had a clear vision of that and a clear understanding, and I listened to God's whispers, then I, you know, I just allowed him to take over and, you know, he's, he's given me and blessed me in ways that I would never have imagined. Thank you for sharing that. So tell me, Alicia, what do you want people to understand about the work you put into it or just, you know, what do you want them to understand most about why you do what you do? For me, it's important that they understand that this is not just a regular cup. This is way beyond it. And it, it it's beyond just a vessel for you to put your liquid in. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's beyond that. It's, it's a vessel that empowers you when you look at it. It makes you feel beautiful. And the reason why I did it so that it's not microwave safe and that it's not dishwasher safe for two reasons. Number one, not microwave safe because it forces you to drink your coffee or tea within 10 minutes, which is more than enough time if you're on, if you're on the on the run, it's more than enough time to just sit there and recite your affirmations, which for me are so powerful and so so important. Um it you know, it, it gives you time to just stop. We all live in such a fast paced life that this allows you to just stop whatever's going around, take your coffee, take your tea, enjoy it, clear your mind and get ready for the day. So that's the reason number one. Number two, not dishwasher safe because while you're washing it, although it may take you a two, a minute or two, you're doing the same exact thing. You're washing it and you're saying, this cup is so beautiful. I'm going to have a beautiful day, blah, blah, blah. You know, however your, your affirmations are. Yeah. Cause they're going to appreciate it. Cause it's, Absolutely. you know, I, I understand. That's why I was saying when I first saw them on my feed, I was like, wow, I could see the time you took mm-hmm. um, to place each one. It's, you know, people say, Oh, I could just, you know, do that. No, 
<laughs> well, I, can listen, that. I, I will say there are many talented artists out there in the world that can recreate this. I'm not the one. I, I would never take uh, full credit for coming up with the uh, with the vinyl cut out of it because it, I didn't come out with that. However, the designs and the color schemes are mine and that is copyrighted. However, again, the, the cutout of the vinyl is not my design. So I want to make sure that we're, we're clear on that. <laughs> no problem. You know, I'm saying if it doesn't come with numbers, you know, like when you paint, you know, just count me out. You well, know, I always say, you know, it has my logo. I don't know if you can see it. it it's got my yes. logo in the back uh -huh. of the cup. So if you do come across another cup that looks similar and it does not have my logo, then it is not my product. Right, right. And I tell you, so do you, I would imagine that because you put so much time into not only the design, but that the cup itself is, uh, something that is durable as well. You know, that's, you know, that's the one thing you know, I know, even with my handmade cards, you know, everything about it is going to last. And I laugh mm -hmm. because, um, and this is just something that if you know me and you've been watching newsworthy stories, you would understand. I don't wear my hair down very often. And so I had <laughs> to get my hair done really the second time in six months, which is, and before that was like before COVID. So, <laughs> So, and I say that why, because she has one of my framed cards still in her, um, the, the hairdresser has hairstylist has, has this framed card that I made for her like almost 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. Yes. And so I laughed and I said to myself when I was just there, um, a week ago and I was like, wow, I said, it's the same, you know, and it's durable. It lasts. And so. Uh, Absolutely. I, I was very particular when I when I selected the design of the cup. I wanted it to have that curvaceous curve because I am a glamorous girl. That's <laughs> right. Curvy, curvy. Well, well, it represents, you know, my curves. Um, I definitely wanted it to be sturdy. I wanted it to be a big cup because I usually drink in big cups. Um, so there's a lot of me in each and every of these cups. Mm. Wow. It's just, I, I love them. I, I and, and so I was so happy when Alicia responded or reacted to something I posted the other day, because then it, I was like, oh gosh, she just responded to something. I'm going to go connect with her you know? <laughs> um, because not, not only here, but I mean, you've been getting incredible exposure with these, uh, with these masterpieces that you've created. Can you talk about some of the, you know, network exposure you Absolutely. you know what, what Absolutely. that was like? So I I credit that to my background in wedding and event planning. When I started doing wedding and event planning, um, this was I was 18 years old when I started. And when I formalized um, the company, I was 21. And that was back in 1997. And so Back then, the resources were not as available as they are right now. And um, it was definitely a little bit more of a challenge when it came to marketing. Back then, it was known more as uh, marketing rather than branding as it is now. Mm -hmm. And so I, I needed to figure out a way. Number one, I needed to act older than I was because <laughs> I knew uh, from a very early age that I wanted to um, work with the affluent market. And in order for them to trust a 21 year old <laughs> with that type of money, I needed to act older. I needed to make sure that I knew what I was talking about um, and so forth. So my, the marketing that I did back then was totally different than what, you know, a regular 21 year old would, would look to do. Right. Mm. And so that, you know, everything that I learned throughout the year, I applied it to Alicia Boning Designs. So I knew that when I started Alicia Boning Designs, it was not going to be just a regular website. It was going to be a spectacular website that had, um, you know, professional pictures. Um, I wanted to make sure that my message was clear enough so that when you are looking through the pictures, you know exactly which one you like. Um, it, you know, it, it tells a little bit about each cup. And if there's something that relates to you with the cup, then automatically, you know, that message has been clear and it's made your shopping um, 
easy, right? And so when I started building relationships with editors and publishers and so forth, that's one of the things that they would comment on, the fact that, um, you know, my product was relatable, my product is is definitely handmade and unique, because although they all look the same, um, as far as like designs and so forth, they may look the same, they're actually all very different, because there's no way that I can place the same stone on each cup every single time. So in essence, you know, if you're ordering a, a, a pack of 12 cups, each 12 cup is going to be different in, in that um, right, right. arena. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how, you know, again, I went in knowing that I wanted it to, to have a different spin and I, I really wanted the message of empowerment to come through. So that was, you know, through building relationships with publishers and editors and, and, um, uh, producers, <laughs> yeah. a, that is how I have been able to get my products onto the Today Show. I've been on the Good Morning America. I've been on local TV. And what I love to call my Academy Award was uh, being on The View. Oh, I mean, I've seen you and I've seen you and I was like, oh, there she is. And I've been <laughs> applauding you, you know, um, like I said, because you're from South Florida and uh, it's just nice to see you succeed, you know, at something so beautiful uh, as well. And I have to tell you, and I'm sure I'm not the only person who's probably asked you this. Uh, when I see this and I, I think of, say, my own mother, right? And I'm thinking, can you use a picture of her? Or do you ever do that where someone says, can you put my mother's picture or somebody else like that? Do you do something like that? I, that I do do custom ones. I do more of like the logos, um, uh, custom work. As far as the silhouette of the women, I like to stay within what it is that I have. I see. I gotcha. Yeah. Cause that's, I was like, that would be probably very hard uh, to do, but I would, I could see that. Cause this is, that's who I was thinking I would get the cup for in the first place. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, my mother would love this. You know? <laughs> and I mean, that's exactly what kept every time I saw, I was like, I need to go onto this site and mm -hmm. see it. now I'm kind of there already. Right. Yes. So um, you can't go wrong with this gift ever. Uh, I think people will hold on to it and how empowering to give to young people in your life as well. Um, you know, maybe the, the, maybe not the coffee cup. We don't want to drink coffee at, you know, 10 necessarily some generations. Yes. But, but um, I will say, I will uh, mention also that the sororities have, really part like for example Tracy is part of not as part but she represents the AKAs mm, okay. um, I have Osceola which uh, represents the Deltas mm -hmm. I have Mary Lou which represents I think I believe it's don't kill me because I'm not in a sorority I want to think leaders. yes <laughs> My That's husband, amazing. my husband is a Kappa, so he's okay. the one that introduced me to all of that. Well, I didn't know fraternity from sorority, so that's how bad it was when <laughs> I went to college. And I was like, you know, I, I was like, is it a fraternity or sorority? They're like, just look at me like with vicious. I was like, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't grow up. I was a military kid. Okay. So we lived overseas a lot, and my parents didn't really go to college, you know, in the beginning. They went later, mm -hmm. but not when they were, you know, when I was little. Right. And so they went as adults. And uh, so I, I didn't know. I had no clue. Uh, but boy, when I saw my first step show, I was done. I was like, what is this? This is amazing. It was exciting, huh? I bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it was exciting because I had never seen anything like that. <laughs> um, but just, you know, the camaraderie and everything. But uh, but I just want people to know that you're here and I would like, you know, I've been scrolling this along the bottom, but, you know, how's the best way for people to contact you, connect with you? Uh, and I try to make myself very available, especially to my customers. And so uh, email is always a great way to connect with me. Also, Instagram, um, although I really I, I do prefer email just because you'll get a more custom, personalized response from me. Um, if they want to call me, I mean, I have people that call me on the phone and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm speaking to the Ali. I'm like, I am not the Alicia Voting. I'm just Alicia Voting. <laughs> 
Um, but yes, I do answer my phone. <laughs> Well, that's great. Um, so yeah, they can they can reach out to me, aliciaboating.com or alicia at aliciaboating.com, Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. All right. Well, it is such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you know, I to eye at least one day yeah. we'll we'll meet face to face. Absolutely. Uh, but uh just looking forward to sharing, you know, more of what you do. And just hearing, you know, how you're going to use them. I'm looking forward to whatever collection you put out. Yes, uh, I, I will say, I'm not going to mention what it is, but I do have another one because I do have a Latina collection honoring okay. my own heritage. And so that one, um, we came up with it last year. And that's that was Celia Cruz. Mm. And this year, I have another amazing woman that I'm honoring uh, for the upcoming uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. So stay tuned. Oh, well, you, you have to tell me so that I can, <laughs> I can say it, you know. Breaking Listen, news. If I tell you, no. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't tell me now. If you tell, you know, when it comes out, you have to tell them. Give us Absolutely. a heads up. Absolutely. We hit some breaking news there, you know. Absolutely. With Alisa. I'll, I'll, what I can say is that she, she was definitely ahead of her time. Very empowering woman, and at the end of the day, she didn't really care what others thought. She uh, wanted her to get her her expressions and her emotions out there, and she did, and she did it with a bang. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining Newsworthy thank Stories you. with Jacqueline Jimenez, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you for having me.